Hey and welcome back to a new video guys. So today I'm going to be trying some French snacks. Cheap French snacks that I found at the local supermarket. So snacking here is an interesting topic. Um, back in South Africa if I wanted a snack it would usually be like cheese and biscuits. So like or crackers, sorry crackers and cheese. Um, and maybe a little bit of like fig jam or those, I don't know, syrup fig things. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And that would be like a cool little snack to have, especially before rugby, some bultong, anything like that. A little bit of chips. Here, there doesn't seem to be much of a snack culture. Um, it's quite interesting, but the only real snacking that goes on is with kids and this is at about 4.30 in the afternoon uh, where they have their goûte, their snack um, and it's like basically after school, before dinner, there's a time where they'll have their snack. So I went to the shop and I thought what can I buy for under a euro and this is what I have. Moving on. Let's start. So these are onion ring chips. Um, they are made with sunflower oil, not palm oil, which is kind of important these days. Um, let's check it out. It smells interesting. Actually, that's pretty damn great. Mm. That's like um, knickknacks, but if you had like an onion flavored knickknack, that kind of crunch. So it's like a maize snack. Um, mm. What else? Um, <gasps> Harry Bow. Okay, this is pr pasta fruta fizz. Oh, it's the sour ones. Okay, I didn't know that. So let's try them. Let's see. That doesn't work. It smells fruity. Let's try pink one because pink is usually strawberry. <laughs> wow. Sour. Artificial strawberry flavor, but like in a good way. Mmm. Yeah. Quite nice actually. 10 out of 10 for Harry Bow. I would definitely buy that again. Chocolate. The packaging is um, it's chocolate, dark chocolate 70%. Um, basically, the way that they advertise is it's just the price, um, no like advertising. So, and that's me translating this. That isn't like I've translated this on an app. So, if it's wrong and you're reading this and you can actually read French, then I apologize. <laughs> But, um, so I like dark chocolate, so this for me is going to be great. Ooh, lovely. So it is like super dark. Wow. It actually, okay. So I don't know if you buy the slabs of lint, but it actually has like a very similar pattern to the lint chocolate. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, yeah, but it's got a very similar pattern to the lint chocolate. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. Um, wow. Okay, this, I don't know what this is. So, it's this. Um, I don't know, I thought it was a biscuit, but when I showed my husband yesterday, he was like, oh, that looks like a cake. So, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't think we get anything like this back in South Africa, for what it's worth, so let's see. And what it appears to be is a cakey, biscuity thing at the bottom, then like a layer of some kind of orange something, and then chocolate on top, so. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Very orangey. 
good with the chocolate. The biscuit base, it is more like a cake. It kind of gets lost in there a little bit. Um, but I suppose, I don't know, it's a little bit sweet. <clears throat> it's like very sweet. So I wouldn't have like more than one of these. I don't know exactly when you'd eat them, so... Mm, yeah, I'm not even going to finish that. Wow. Wow. Kofua Petals Chips. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, okay, smells nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Guys. This. This. This is like Pringles meets prawn chips. The prawn chips that you get from like Woolworths. Um, this is my new favorite thing ever. It's not too salty. It's very plain flavor, very bland, very boring, <laughs> like me. This is so delicious. Wow. 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 Okay, cool. So that's. That's nice. That's super nice. That. Okay, another crackery biscuity thing, and it's Emmental, Emmental flavor. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's like a little cracker with some Emmental on it. Um, it's very similar, I don't know if you've ever had a Tuck biscuit um, cracker thing. It's T-U-C, Tuck, Tuck, no idea. It's very similar in texture and flavor to that with like a very slight underlying cheese flavor, but the cheese isn't even that prominent here. Also, super delicious. If I'm buying that for a euro, I'd be pretty happy. Okay. This is what I am least excited for. This is peanuts. Um, if anybody knows me, you know that I don't like nuts. I specifically don't like peanuts. So, <laughs> I'm gonna hate this, but... I thought since there's people out there that actually like peanuts and maybe they want to buy these for under a euro, maybe I should try them. So you're welcome. It just smell terrible. Let's see. The peanuts. They're salty. But not too salty. Um, they're oven grilled, oven baked, so they're grilled peanuts? Baked peanuts? Is that what people do? Do they bake peanuts? They're peanuts, guys. They're good. I mean, they're. For peanuts, they're good. They're great for the price. <clears throat> I wouldn't eat them, but that's because I don't like peanuts. So these are going straight in the trash. Um, but only because I, I'm definitely not eating this. Um, but otherwise, highly recommend if you like peanuts and if you have a budget. Crocodile. Crocodile. Um, so let's see. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, let's see. Let's get a, whatever, brown one. Little crocodiles, yum, yum, yum. That's like cola flavor. Orange flavor? I don't know. I don't know what flavor these are. Most of these. This one's definitely cola. Um, but I don't know what flavors these are. They're delicious flavored. If that counts for anything. Um, but when it comes to the actual flavor, I have no idea. This is something that I read about. These 
maybe not particularly this brand. Um, this is the Kofua brand, but basically these are chocolate covered marshmallows. Smells nice. Smells like a what do you call the thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. At first, mm. at first I was like, "Hmm, this is nice," and then you start tasting the chocolate that's around it, and it's like they've used the cheap chocolate that's just pure sugar. So basically, the marshmallow is great, but the chocolate around it kind of ruins it for me. Um, it's a little bit too sweet. Um, yeah, this I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this again. Definitely not. Okay, caramel popcorn. This is by a brand called Baff. Let's see, it's the original caramel apparently. Don't know what that means. Okay, right off the bat, it smells good, but has an undertone of like saltiness. No, popcorn tastes a little bit stale, but not like in a good way. Caramel tastes a little bit burnt. I mean, it's fine because I keep eating it, but I don't know if I would have more than a handful of this and to be honest, I'm probably going to throw this in the trash. It's not worth the calories. And last, we have chips. Just plain chips. Um, what's cool is that they do call chips here yeah, chips and not crisps, which I think they do in America, I think. Um, but again, this is the Carrefour brand. And I actually don't know what flavor this is. Maybe it's like plain flavor. It smells nice. Mm. Yeah. So this is like just lightly salted, like Lay's lightly salted. Very plain. Um, very similar to Lay's chips, but um, almost thinner, lighter, and they've got great crispiness. Super cheap. Again, other chips that weren't like a no-name brand were about double the price. So if you're looking for a giant bag of chips for under a euro to take to a friend's place, to take to a little get-together, whatever, highly, highly recommend. Mm. Those are good. Yeah. So basically, um, I would say my absolute favorites were these. Definitely these. Um, they were so good. So, so good. Um, but yeah, it's definitely possible to get cheap snacks for under a euro that are not terrible. Um, you might have to do a little looking. You might have to go to like a bigger center. I went to quite a small little Kofua city. Um, so, and they had all of these. They did have more, but I wasn't going to sit here and eat like... 20 different snack things. I thought that this was a good variety. Um, if you want to see another video like this, maybe with some drinks, some local drinks here, uh, let me know, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.